Hello, RIC Archives. Steven Simmons coming back at you again, now as a second you. This is my second time doing an archive story booth and they've been a lot of fun every time I do one. So I'm excited to get to share a bit of you guys and like my perspective on like supporting women here at RIT. So I want to respond to the second prompt first because that was the one that really spoke to me. It was, how do you support women's perspectives and voices in male dominated spaces while working or studying at RIT? Now, I've always been a huge believer that different perspectives can breed some of the greatest changes, no matter like where you're from. It's, it's just kind of the truth. It's being from different places or having different experiences leads you to think things through differently. And when you have a different thought process about a similar thing or problem, it allows you to see angles that other people can't. So in a place like RIT that's full of a lot of people who kind of have similar upbringings and came from similar places, and have lived almost cookie cutter lives, those small minute differences, be it gender, race, because in the grand scheme of things, these differences don't mean a whole lot, but they can lead to great differences in how we think and how we perceive the world because of the world's perception of these differences. And because of that, you can think of some amazing things that other people wouldn't think of. And it's important to hear everybody else out in the group. Even if the group kind of is in consensus about where we want to go, I still think it's important to hear out everybody's voice because if you don't, you might miss something that you weren't really thinking about. Like, yeah, we all kind of want to push toward this product here. Like this is kind of the general idea our group wants to go for. We want to do sneakers, but because we're studying the youth market and stuff like that, a female colleague of mine might have noticed that there's an uptick in like card sales right now. So rather than just doing straight up sneakers, what if we made something that was kind of along the lines of like trading cards for like shoes? You know what I'm saying? Like we could combine those two ideas and make something crazy because there are a lot of like shoe collectors and there are a lot of card collectors. So what if we made something that would like bring those two together? That could be a crazy fun niche idea that would capture a market that's definitely untapped, but no one would have thought of something like that if we didn't hear them out. Is it kind of goofy? Is it kind of silly? Yeah, this is a wild example, but <laughs> it would be really cool to see. Like, because you never know what crazy ideas you can think of when you go into a group because you don't know who you'll bounce off of. You don't know who will catch whatever idea you have, spin it and make it into something better. So it's important to kind of hear everybody out, especially women's perspectives because they have a perspective that's completely different from ours. Now, I think it's important for me to participate in an event like this today because it, it's essentially doing what I was talking about previously. It's finding more ways to uplift these women here at RIT. It's finding more ways that they're active on campus, learning more about their events, and just getting to know them more. Because like my homegirl, Kim, she's over there in the uh, Women in Business booth. Shouts out to Kim. That's the homie. Man. I love her so much. And like it... She, that whole like spot, when I first found out that women in business wasn't just for women, but it was also for people who support women in business, I started going to as many events as I could. Because first off, Kim's the homie, got to support, got to support. And like a bunch of my other friends would also go to support. So it was a cool hangout, not only for our friends, who are also friends with Kim, but it was just a cool way for us to show support for her now that she's on the e-board and she's coming into her own. And like now there are more people that come into her events. So she feels like her events are more successful. And being there, there's a lot of really cool stuff we get to learn about. There's a lot of really fun activities we can partake in. And you just get to learn stuff, man. It's, it's dope. I like that. I like that aspect. There's a bunch of really cool women I've met here on campus. You know? So like, like shout out to Kyra, shout out to Bene, Leisha, Misha, mad folks, man. Nia, Gurleen, come on. Like so many really cool people. Paula, there's, there's too many names. Ariana, like, there's, there's, I can list all the dope people. Like, Every person I've met here at IIT has been dope, but some of the dopest have been women because they just, they carry themselves differently here because they know they kind of have to. And I, I feel like it, it, it kind of sucks they have to hold themselves at a high esteem and like always try to like push up with some kind of bravado because they have to compete in these spaces where they should feel welcome. But that energy is just, it's just so cool to see that like, it proves that they can really do almost anything. Which I think is sick. Now, if I have to talk about a specific woman change maker within the RIT community, man, I don't know, that's tough. 
He's like, I met a lot of really dope folks here, but like, it's just really hard to narrow down one person. But if I had to choose one, I feel like I gotta really shout out my, my girl Ariana Brentling, man, because uh, she did the whole like like marketing and like the, the graphic design stuff behind uh, Deliver You. For those who don't know about what Deliver You is, flashback to uh, what is it? What year is it? Current twenty twenty three. So like twenty twenty spring semester of last year, spring semester twenty twenty two, we had this thing called Dorm Dash, and then we rebranded to Deliver You because they wanted to, but. Over the summer, when we were like reworking everything and like building it up to be like an on-campus delivery service that like no other school really had, and we we're just trying to workshop that idea to make it something commercial. Ariana was there, like designing everything. She drew up our whole new logo, designed a brand book. She was killing it, and like she really showed her skill and like made something dope. Now, if Deliver You became an actual affiliate partner with RIT, would have been sick. And like I feel like she definitely would have got her name out there, but. She still deserves to have her name put in the history books here at RIT for being such an integral part of such a really cool experiment. Because uh, what other school you know had an on-campus delivery service? What other school had their own had their own Uber Eats for on-campus food? How many schools can you say had something like that? That was ran by students, started by students, designed by students, had a website full of pictures of students. Like we made our own stock photos, dog. Like how dope is it? And that was thanks to her friend who she introduced us to. She was really integral in the part of like making it bigger than what it already was. So shouts out to Aaron. That's definitely a change maker here in the RIT community that can't be overstated. RIT's got some really dope people in general, but by far some of the dopest gotta be some of the ladies, man. They just built different. <laughs> That's all we can really say. How do I stop this thing? <laughs>